welcome to Lineage Yoga and today's video is about a sequence of four postures. We are going to start with shoulder stand, Sarvangasana and then we are going to transition to the plow pose, Halasana. These two are forward bends and they are excellent for your spine and then we are going to do the counter stretches that is the bridge pose, Setu Bandhasana and finally the fish pose, Matsyasana. So let's get started. Prepare for shoulder stand, Sarvangasana. Lying flat on the back, bring the feet together. Toes towards you. Slide your arms by the side of the body, palms facing down, chin to the chest. Keeping your back, head and neck on the mat. Inhale and lift both your legs up. Hips up, trunk up and support your back. Fingers are pointing inwards and thumbs are pointing outwards around the waist. And breathe slowly into your abdomen. Relax your feet and legs as much as possible. To make any auto adjustments, Bend your legs at the knees and bring your knees closer to your forehead. Now release the support. Place your palms on the floor and bring your shoulder blades closer together. Interlock the fingers, elbows closer together and re-support the back and straighten your legs keep your head centered you're now standing on the shoulders with the help and support of the elbows bring your chest as close to your chin as possible and breathe normally in this position you can walk your hands down your back to straighten your spine Now prepare for halasan, one leg at a time, inhale, exhale, slowly drop your right leg behind your head, right toe touching the floor, inhale, lift your right leg up, exhale, slowly drop your left leg behind your head, Bringing your left toes onto the floor. Inhale up. And as you exhale, slowly lower both your legs down. Bringing your feet down towards the ground behind the head keeping your knees straight once the toes touch the floor you can release the support and interlock your fingers behind the back keeping the hands parallel to each other the legs and thighs are in one straight line Press the chin against the chest. Keep the knees straight. Point the toes in towards the head and stretch the heels towards the floor. Breathe normally here. Now re support your back and Inhale, slowly lift both your legs up. Coming back to shoulder stand. And just stay here for a few seconds. Prepare yourself for Setu Bandhasan, bridge pose.
bend both knees and leading with one foot lower one foot at a time onto the ground behind the back Do not change the hand position. The hand will remain on the back in the same position that they were in the shoulder stand. Make sure that both feet are flat on the floor. Hips are up as high as possible and both the head and shoulders remain on the ground. Breathe normally here. And now inhale deeply as you kick one leg up followed by the other returning to the shoulder stand and prepare to come out of the posture slowly lower both feet halfway down over the head and slowly roll out of the posture one vertebra at a time bringing your legs together on the mat with control and preparing for fish pose matsyasan keeping your legs together place both the arms under your body with your hands as far as possible under your thighs and your elbows as far as possible under your back keep your palms facing the mat and now bending the elbows push them into the ground keeping the weight on the elbows use them to lift the chest until you're sitting up halfway and slowly drop the head back so that the top of the head is on the ground with the chest expanded the head is touching the floor but the weight is on the elbows keep your mouth closed throughout to increase the stretch in your throat and chest Now to release the posture, lift the head slightly, lower back to the ground and relax in corpse pose. Shavasan and slowly low, roll the head from side to side. and bring the head back to the center. 